Hello, it's Max RC here. Today I've prepared for you one more video about amazing drift cars. Each of these cars has a special style, history, and unique features, which even some full-scale models can envy. I'm sure it will be interesting for you. Therefore, like this video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done it yet, and let's start. Red is a provocative color, and this dreamboat can challenge almost any drift car. Just look at it. It looks like a self-confident prof. The detailed interior, smooth lines, those wheels, they all make it a real sports car in miniature. Drifting such a ride is a real pleasure. I am sure that it would be indescribable to turn it into a full-size format, but we are the right guys. Therefore, we will transfer all entertainment to a miniature toy and a massive steering wheel to the control panel. Next in line is a yellow Nissan GTR. It was introduced as a production model at the Tokyo Motor Show on October 24, 2007. It is maneuverable, bright, and fast, like lightning. Looking at this car, you just want hot summer with its dry asphalt to come quickly. Then you can disperse all the dust along the sidewalk by a dashing race. This juicy yellow color literally evokes the atmosphere of a sunny day and endless movement. Therefore, during grey winter days, driving this car in a dry place will definitely create your good mood. And of course, I will have to mention its coolness after this car drifts through its next turn. I usually associate the bright red color with cars of the 50s. It is often burgundy, like this model. And here you can also see bright yellow stripes right along the body. Do you agree that it is a very beautiful and eye-catching car? Do you remember that I have a special passion for retro models? Well, now you know it for sure. I really like the quality of details of the retro versions of drift cars. Looking at them and controlling them is a pleasure. And this sparkling babe, beckoning with its sparkling headlights, looks amazing. As for its characteristics, I was a little bit upset. The car looks clumsy. It is clearly less nimble than the others in this video, but at the same time, it is almost silent, except for those moments when it revs the engine. This Beetle is with a trick. The thing is that you can be accompanied by a small driver during the race. I think that the driver itself is not included in the kit, but you can put a small toy or a figurine of your favorite character there. And just like that, a dashing race will turn into an equally dashing crossover. But don't forget about the car. This particular one is the first painted in black in our video, and this color is amazingly combined with its retro entourage. Do you know if the Beetles were ever black? I remember them painted in red or or green colors. And here it is in black. And just look at how skillfully this babe is moving in a figure eight pattern right on the parquet floor. Yes, it clearly does not need any special coverage of the surface to show all of its power to the world. Today we have already talked about Mark II, or rather mentioned this iconic car. Now it's time to show it to you and all its glory. Honestly, I don't think that the story of Mark II will somehow surprise you much, but this car will definitely do it as it is completely different matter. Especially its bright wheels as well as these toxic and at the same time insanely pleasant and unusually colored discs. Just look how cool the coloring along with the inscriptions are. Everything matches just fine. I can give the project A+, and a huge like with respect to the authors for the work they have done. Those sleepless nights were definitely worth it, right? The next car requires some skill when driving, but anyway, it will be able to delight you with its look. Do you like something variegated, bright and eye-catching? I have found an excellent model for you. This cool blue Lexus looks amazing. I really like its white roof. It looks super harmonious, and you won't lose sight of your car while standing and controlling it. But as I've said earlier, in my opinion, this model does not stand out with some cool characteristics in terms of driving. While banking, sometimes it side slips, and it seems it just can't build up the speed. And this is another red car. This time, it's the Mazda RX-7. This car is practically a classic of Japanese high-speed cars. Such a model was even shown in an anime. So it is not surprising that this particular model is so bright and has lots of drawings. Maybe it has really descended from the pages of manga or anime. I especially like the combination of the upper part of the body, which is painted in black, and the lower red part. And although the impression of the car remains precisely red, this black part really sets off the color and creates the depth, if I may say so. 
Hey, wait, where's the hood? I wanted to say that when I took a closer look at this bright green retro car. Anyway, the answer remained unanswered, but I think the lack of a hood makes this model more interesting and extraordinary. Definitely, it is the choice of those people who like to stand out in an unusual way. You can also notice the cool driver who shakes his head when cornering. Other than that, this mini racing car is just as cool as the others on our list. This car combines several characteristics of our previous models at once. It's a Toyota again, but this time, it's the Mark II. Well, it can be the Iron Man reference. What do you think? And again, this is a white retro car, but there's something that hooks me onto it. I mean, these cool golden discs. They match so well, as if they revive it and give it a special charm. But will it succeed in its main goal, which is a cool drift? Yes, it definitely will. You will be surprised by its maneuverability and controllability. So, in addition to the visual aesthetic pleasure, it will also be a pleasure for you to control it. And of course, the creators here did their best to make the details perfect. Some people are trying to get ahead of their rivals by making a more powerful engine for the toy, while the others prefer to lighten the body of the car to the maximum. Well, the third type of people chooses to add two extra wheels. But the thing is that they do not consider them to be extra. The wheels are required for extra stability, though we still don't know if it is cool or not in the case of drifting and racing. In my opinion, those six wheels is a cool idea if the car is made for a comfortable ride. No wonder the limousines are so long. However, for drifting, I would generally use two wheels if such a thing possible. This reduces weight and somehow makes the drift space smaller and therefore easier. What do you think? In my video, I just can't miss the king of sports cars, the Lamborghini. That's why I wanted to share with you this car full of various stickers and paintings. It has a special feature that seems interesting, but the purpose of which I can't understand. Look, there are some holes in the side windows. What do you think they are for? It seems to me they were made in order to cool the mini driver during a hot and dashing race. After all, this model gives it hot in the high speed field, just the same as the original one does. Sometimes if it enters the next corner, it seems to be alone on the racetrack. Track. Wow, this is an old by Dashing Mazda. The car perfectly enters a turn and that says it all. You just check this angle out. The way this Mazda holds a turn and how easily it is controlled is just awesome. I wonder how much time these guys have spent on creating such a cool car and how much it looks like the original one is just amazing. When shooting this car close up, one thought crept into my head. Were they showing us a real Mazda entering a turn? Write in the comments if you were thinking about the same theme. It will be interesting to read. And there is one more pickup in our video. And again, this Toyota is bright yellow. And not even yellow, it is literally gold. Its color with pearly shades is really golden. But this time, this is not a racing model, but the Tundra. Just look at this powerful body and an intimidating bumper. As for me, I would avoid running into the one like that on the racetrack. And this is the model where manufacturers paid a lot of attention to details. If you ignore the color and dimensions, the Tundra really looks like a real one. Tiny wipers, all these rivets, paintings on the body, and even the wheels are made very similar to real ones. Definitely, this car is worth your attention. The Mustang, with its powerful body, inspires a feeling of reliability and stability in the races only by its looks. It is painted in a classic drift car color. It really negotiate the corner with ease and precision. By the way, do you know that although the original version of the car is produced by Ford, the car itself does not have the Ford emblem, but a special Mustang emblem which is a horse captured right while running, which reminds us about the speed and the power of these cars. This Supra is a professional sports car classic, which draws attention with its bright black and green wheels, contrasting with the white body and colorful patterns on it. The Supra has appeared in numerous video games, films, music videos, and TV shows. I'm sure you have seen it in Need for Speed, Forza Horizon 2, and in The Fast and the Furious. Its mini version may not be as fast as the other models in this video, but its maneuverability is 100% perfect. It can easily go from the steepest drifts and turns, overtaking the enemy, and not losing its speed. Besides, it is able to create a real spectacle. This model looks amazing on the mini track, attracting all eyes. It will certainly not be lost among the numerous rivals. 
This car reminds me of a turtle from a fairy tale, where a hare and a turtle were competing in speed. After all, this model is just that. It is compact, like a turtle, and at first glance, it does not really differ in speed. But as you probably remember, it was the turtle who won and defeated the hare. And in this case, everything will be exactly the same. Once this car accelerates, it makes its rivals swallow the dust, leaving them far behind. Besides, it copes well with turns, almost without losing its speed. It seems to me it will show itself perfectly in scale skilled hands. This black car can easily deceive you with most of its simple and boring look. The body looks somewhat cheap, even worn and featureless. But you can't say the same about its characteristics. Yes, the true connoisseurs of good drift cars which can be controlled remotely will immediately notice this particular model. Because if it's not about aesthetic pleasure and spectacle, but about really cool performance and the joy that you get at every turn, then you won't find a better model in this video. It is driving sideways as if it is walking in the park on a good sunny day. And this is the Toyota GT86. And don't confuse this car with the Subaru BRZ. Those who are all fat with the auto industry can understand my reference. What can I say about this toy? Well, it was done amazingly. Every element, wherever you look and whatever you touch, is just done for 10 points out of 10. That's why I give it a huge like. Externally, the car is also cool. According to the technical data, there are also no complaints about it. Basically, if you like this look, I would call this model perfect. Well, will you argue with that, hmm? Is anything wrong with it? Please write in the comments. This part is for the retro fans. The next in line is the bright blue BMW E30 M3, which was first shown in the Frankfurt Motor Show in 1985. Did you know that this particular car model was the fastest in the world tour? I am absolutely sure that this reduced copy of the original prototype is in no way inferior. In my opinion, it is worth paying attention not only to the color, as it is already eye-catching, but also to the cool grill on the rear window. It perfectly fits the concept of the car and definitely gives it a special charm arm. It seems to me that none of our videos is complete without a GTR, right? And this one is not an exception. This is really something to look at. The design of the car is simply amazing. The matte black body, the stickers and graffiti, all these look harmonious and very successful. Unfortunately, not much can be said about the quality of its body. I didn't actually like all of these scuffs and the feeling that the car seemed to be dusty. However, Maybe this is also a part of the idea, but you have to admit the fact that it is ahead of all of its rivals and is boldly heading to the finish line. Here we have another great classic in our collection. In some cars, the simplicity is really beautiful. And this particular model looks like it was made not out of plastic, but of some kind of lightweight metal, which sets this gray color with slight scuffs. It matches well with white rims, which you can see on its wheels. The car looks like it's floating, not driving. But unfortunately, the characteristics are not particularly impressive. This is a typical drift car without any cool features. It rides smoothly without jerks. But but often stumbles if there are any bumps and roughness in its path. Now we're going to talk about the legendary car, which success can be easily compared with the Toyota Mark II. Yes, as you have already understood, this is also a Toyota, though this time it is the Chaser. This car has a great cult for tuning lovers. This was achieved due to the aggressive exterior and good adaptation of engines to improvement. The engines were legendary. The situation here is almost the same as with its blood brother, the Toyota Mark II, which I have already mentioned today. Despite all the nonsense, the passenger compartment is still comfortable and made from the materials of good quality. There are also all the amenities such as electric seat adjustments, climate control and an audio system. You may now think that this is all nonsense, but you should also take into account the time when this car was produced. In my opinion, this mini version of Chaser perfectly conveys that old vibe. Do you agree with me? Cool and sparkling retro cars just don't want to leave our video today. That's why I couldn't miss this amazing black Dodge. That is why you can see it now delighting us with its pirouettes and looks. And although we have a Dodge, I can't help feeling that this car was created in order to travel along the roads of America and chase evil spirits together with the younger brother. But this time, you can do all this with crazy drifting stunts. Will you agree to go for such a trip? 
Next in line is the most legendary car from the Back to the Future. I'm already tired of talking about it. Everyone knows what kind of car it is and how cool and rare it is. Therefore, I suggest to enjoy this beauty for some time and just move on. And this model is not just called Kamikaze. Its little driver can easily confirm it, as only a Kamikaze can really drive this car. Its movements are fast and sharp. It often drifts from side to side, even on the smallest wobbling of the track. But nevertheless, it copes with turns with ease, and it doesn't deprive the driver of speed. In short, the main thing here is to have time to keep track of it, as what seems to be wobbles at first glance turns out to be a perfect precision in control. C. This Lexus, with simply incredible drifting qualities and control, is awaiting you. It surprised me with its maneuverability and sensitivity of control. Without skidding and braking distance, this car stops dead. You just have to give it such a signal. It seems that it can cope even with the sharpest turns and tracks without any problem. The owner of such a car will have a lot of options. It will attract not only by a cool drift, but also by the opportunity to surprise the audience with various tricks. It will accurately drive to the right place and light a match, and then blow it out. In short, the scope for imagination is endless. What makes this model different from the others? The driver that comes with the kit. No, I'm not kidding. This white babe really has a human model sitting in the driver's seat. It's funny, isn't it? You are now controlling not only the car, but the car with a driver. Well, it looks as if you are taking the job of a real autopilot. The only thing, you can look at it if you remove the top case. But at the same time, you will be able to properly see the filling of the car and how it works. Besides, you can even drive it without a top. If we speak about racing, such a small car has some advantage because its size allows you to perfectly maneuver among rivals and obstacles. Someone gets high and longs to have a modern, fast car in their collection, like some kind of Saturn Cabriolet or something like that. But after all, people don't even think about the fact that the bus can be the same cool in terms of drifting. You will get exactly the same top and racing ride, only it will stand out against the general background and force rivals to be distracted by its awesome look. Especially if it has such a stunning purple color like the one in this video. How do you like this car, hmm? Would you like to have it not only as a toy, but also as a real vehicle? This compact babe gives me mixed emotions. It looks very cute because of its size, and I associate its pleasant blue color with the spring sky. But at the same time, its body looks like it is an ordinary toy. Maybe I'm just nitpicking, but it seems to lack quite a bit to the level of a good detailed elaboration. But I liked its number on the rear bumper, or rather, the way they stick out. Like, they aren't secured well enough. Do you think it was made purposely, or is it just the consequence of one of the previous races? However, as soon as it goes goes out onto the road and shows itself in all its glory. Your opinion about it becomes completely different. You can understand that a real high-speed monster is riding under the small hood. Today we will have an abundance of bright red color, and to tell the truth, I am happy about this. After all, red is the color of speed and burning hearts. So this bright specimen is full of its thirst for speed and incredible traction to show off its skill during the race. As soon as you acquire such a model, it will be impossible to resist trying it out in action as it is literally mesmerizing. Another remarkable feature is its bright headlights. Sometimes they even blind a little, especially the rear ones. So you can drift in the dusk and don't have to worry about time. It seems to me all world brands prefer grey color in their products for good reason. After all, it is much easier to surprise anyone with what's inside. It has standard, but pleasing to the eye, grey color and body, and doesn't have any bright features. But I am sure that there will be those who like such a model, which doesn't have too much gloss and pathos, where attention can be mostly paid to the driving skills and speed. Although, for me personally, this car, as they say, is a real diamond. After all, it is much cooler and more pleasant to become a winner or surprise everyone with your abilities without too much pathos. And this red Mazda completes our series of races. Its bright scarlet color literally screams and seems to symbolize the passion for driving races and drift cars. When you look at it, your blood really boils in the veins. And yes, this is definitely a worthwhile model. It is responsive to control in the hands of its owner. It practically does not skid in turns, and it fits into them like a queen, as if it really feels them. 
At first glance, it seems very ordinary, but if this car were a drink, it would definitely be pomegranate juice. The movements of this Mazda are just as viscous, and the color is thick and very beautiful. Every turn of the car is incredibly smooth, which is very surprising for a drift car. After all, this model was able to combine not only a rather good speed, but also the smoothness of turns. Let it not be the fastest one, but it is bewitching for sure. The black hood and headlights look especially cool against the general background, adding another zest to this car. And of course, I just have to mention retro cars in my video. Someone will think this shade is not beautiful, but I really like this dark green color. It matches the body of the car and seems to emphasize this antiquity. By the way, the model is wonderfully designed. I really like its details. All these light bulbs, wheels, and even numbers on the bumpers. It's bad they forgot a salon there. Where will the mini driver sit during the next race? I'm just joking, because you will control this tiny retro beast. See? It will not please you with its super speed, but it will definitely impress you with its maneuverability. Did I say something about the details and aesthetics? Forget about everything and just look at this beetle. Damn it, this is an incredible model. With every scratch and abrasion on the body and wheels, and with different headlights, this babe looks like it is really more than a dozen years old. Even the windows on this Volkswagen seem to be covered in dust. Or maybe the glass is really dusty? Who knows? Anyway, this is my huge respect for such an incredible model. And on top of that, don't be fooled by its look. This beetle will surely beat some classic drift model on a mini racing track. Well, that's all friends. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, leave your like, and that's all for now.